Tell us about an event to benefit the organization's food pantries. Good afternoon again, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope, and as we always say, so we begin. Beginning with Holly Spencer Truman, foster care recruiter and trainer uh, for the Ohio Guidestone, seated on the left, and Nichelle Daniels, foster care parent. Good to have you both with us. Thanks. Let's begin with you, Holly Spencer. Uh, what does Ohio Guidestone try to do regarding the foster care program? Well, Ohio Guidestone is a community solutions organization, so do we do a lot of things, but the arm of the agency that I work for is the foster care department. Mm -hmm. So we are in charge of recruiting families, trying to get them in the door, um, and become willing to foster some of the kids in Cleveland come, that come from really hard places. Yeah. And we see a lot of foster care youngsters, don't we, in Cuyahoga yeah. County? Yeah, too many. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're trying to really, you're trying to recruit people to, to become foster care parents Absolutely. For, for these youngsters who may Absolutely. have nowhere else to go other than inside the county. Right. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So when kids come into care with a county, their first choice is to try and find a family member where a child can go and be with someone who's familiar, but that's not always possible. Mm -hmm. And when it's need the folks of our community to step up and be willing to allow us into their lives and um, get them trained mm -hmm. so that they can care yeah. for our kids that need them. Yeah. Nichelle Daniels, you are a foster care parent. Yes, why, I am. Why did you decide to do that? My husband and I decided to um, become foster parents because we knew someone that was in need mm -hmm. of um, assistance and we were not able to because we were not licensed. So we decided to become licensed just to have them. But when we went into the training at Ohio Guidestone, we were inspired to go further than just receive the license. Mm -hmm. It really touched our hearts and we felt like it was our civic duty to at least support one key that needed a home um, and we started from there yeah how long have you been doing this you and your husband we've been fostering for six years now uh-huh and with, with, with uh, how, how many kids have come through your home we've fostered ten children Mm -hmm. um, over the six years and we currently have six children that we are fostering in our home that we um, have an intent to adopt all yeah. six of the children that we have now. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, we are adopting so, so all of it's our not children. A, not only rewarding for the youngsters, but rewarding for you and your husband. Absolutely. Um, we always tell people that the children have added way more to our lives than we've added to theirs. Right. That's a story that I right. bet you hear all the time, don't you, Holly? Absolutely. And do you know, at, um, I'm a foster and adoptive parent as well. And you know, mm -hmm. too many people say to me, oh, they're so blessed to have you. And I get somewhat impatient with that response because what the kids have brought to our lives has been tremendous. It has and been tremendous. You're looking for more parents like Nichelle. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Her, and her husband. You're looking for more families yeah. for these youngsters. Yeah. Widespread need. Widespread need. And um, I think, you know, you see commercial have to be a perfect parent you don't have to be a perfect person yeah. to be a foster parent and those kinds of things and I think you really don't have to be a perfect person I think we as an agency do such a good job at wrapping up our families and supporting them through the process that someone who says oh I just came for the license now has six children <laughs> because she felt convicted but I would dare to say that I also think she felt supported and able to do that mm -hmm. you know so we'll take somebody who perhaps has some self-doubt and say you know what you've got this and we've got you we've got you we will help you through this process and you've got the training for them <clears throat> I mean the, 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 Absolutely. These, the folks that don't get kids I mean, you've no, got, you've no. got to go, you've got to be vetted. You've got to go right, through, go right. through the training program. Absolutely. If you come through our program, you have to go through 44 hours worth of pre-service training at a minimum, as well as yeah. um, something called a home study. Mm -hmm. So it's somewhat invasive in your life. But when you think about the idea that this is about keeping kids safe, we need to make sure that you're going to be a safe and well-educated and prepared person in order to bring a child into your home that's seen some really hard things. I want to put a phone number on the screen, more information on on everything we're talking about as we continue our discussion, 440-234-2006, or you can go to ohioguidestone.org for more information. You said you've had a, a, a lot of kids come through your home, 10 kids, I think you said, in, in, in over the last s several years. Yes. As, 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 they, as they leave your home and move on to, the, to, to, to uh, other points of their life, do they stay in touch with you? Yes, we have been blessed to remain connected with all of the children 
children that we've had in our home and also the birth families. Um, our family keep a connection with the birth family. So we've been blessed too. We still have an active role. We're auntie and uncle, mm -hmm. mom and dad yeah. to our um, teenagers that aged out. Mm -hmm. So um, we continue to play an active role. Mm -hmm. You bless them as you said a little bit ago. What happens when the youngsters age out of foster care, when they turn 18? Well, um, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Um, there are a lot of outcomes that are possible. Um, you list the negative ones and you start thinking about things like drug addiction, homelessness, um, impoverished, mm -hmm. um, and whatnot. Um, but there are some pretty amazing programs in Cleveland that are helping to fill the gap yeah. a bit. Um, um, I think of Tri-C that has a great program where there, uh, right. there's money to be had and housing to be had. We, so. We've had some of those people right on this side right. here I talk, bet. talking about that. I bet. But right now we're talking, and you need, you need more families in our final 20 seconds you need more families to come forward we absolutely do if and they give a phone number if they call that phone number or get on that website they will be directed to my desk and that, I will talk them through everything they need to know that's first step many thanks Holly Spencer Truman foster care recruiter and trainer for Ohio Guidestone sure. and Nichelle Daniels foster care parent many right. thanks and thanks foster for care us. parent for you and as foster well care parent for me. Yeah. 440 234 2006 more information on everything we're talking about many thanks and thank, thank you. you for what you do Thanks. Thank you. Being the parents that you have become. Thank you. I'll take a break. This is Kaleidoscope. I'll be right back. We're going to talk with the Cleveland Company.